We're going to start out with our warm up again. First of all, sorry, good morning. Good afternoon. I'm Shannon, uh, Coach Shannon from Fiddler's Elbow. And um, welcome to, again, to our like home gym here. Um, hopefully, you're all doing well. Um, we're going to get started with a warm up. We're going to do one minute exercises. So I'm going to hit my watch and get started. And we're just going to start jogging. So any kind of way you want to jog, whether that's sort of knees up, it's kind of side to side, we're just going to get going. So we've got 10 exercises, so we're going to do a 10-minute warm-up, and very similar to the last class, kind of want to make that a bit of a kind of, I don't know, kind of like something you guys get used to. I may switch up some of the exercises if people are like, hey, I don't really love that. Um, but I'm definitely open to um, definitely open to some suggestions. Um, cool. So let's see. We got 20 seconds of jogging, and then we're gonna do rocking punches. So we got 15 seconds here. Nice jog. Move those arms. Get them going. Want to feel those <laughs> armpits sweating? Good. And three. Two, one, so here we go. We're gonna go 30 seconds on either side, so we're just gonna rock back and forth, and I want you to punch that screen. Everybody wants to punch me in the face at some point, so why not today? It's Friday. Awesome. Give it a little hip check. Really kind of move your body. Keep your arms up, just like a fighter stance, nice and strong. Going back and forth here, three, Two, one, let's turn sides. And we're going to the other side. Nice punches. So I heard a, a few people actually did this video on YouTube, so thank you for watching. If you happen to be a YouTuber, the Bridge Center Fitness, the Bridge Fitness Center at Fiddler's Elbow. That's our YouTube page. So we've gotten a few views. I'm grateful and excited. All right, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go jumping jacks. Arms out to the side, arms up front. Arms out to the side, arms up front. Woo! Nice job, ladies. Keep it going. Try to land nice and soft on the feet. Right, just try to keep it nice and safe. Big deep breaths. So we kind of go between a little bit higher impact. And again, if this is too much, you're welcome to just do step outs. So do whatever level you can for your body. We've got 20 seconds. If that higher impact is a little bit too much, you don't have to jump. Just step out. But get those arms moving. Lower body, upper body movements, they definitely help get our heart rate up. Get that cardio going. Awesome. All right, so let's go into windmills. Nice bending. I want you to send that butt back. So send the butt back. Your back is nice and flat when we do windmills. We're going opposite hand to foot. And when you stand, I want you to squeeze your butt at the top. So kind of like a deadlift almost. This is a hip hinge move. Functional movement. Just don't get too dizzy. And go at your own pace. If I'm going fast, you can move slower. That is really okay, too. Right. 30 seconds in. Thanks. For this exercise. <laughs> we're about four minutes in. So keep on going. 15 seconds here. And then from windmills, we're going to go to standing. I call them Frankensteins, right? So standing toe touches. So just like this but we're raising the toes to either side. So finish up our windmills here. Three, two, one, good. And now we'll go twisting toe touches. And again, if the legs are too much, let's just hit the knees. That's always another good um, modification. So, great job. My watch says it looks like you're doing this pool workout. I assure you, I'm not No. All right, keep it going. We're halfway. No, it's not. It's like a. She's watching her do this video, which is fine. If you go ahead. 
can't see me. Your screen. I don't think. It shows me the You're black me. screen. Oops. Which is fine with me. Young go and ladies and gentlemen, we're here with us today. You're muted. If you just joined us, thank you. We're so happy you're here. Good. All right. So now we're going to do three steps over. One, two, three. And touch the ground. Two, three. One, two, three. And touch sort of that inside foot. One, two, three. It takes a little bit of coordination, but do your best. And again, if the hop is too much, maybe just a little march. Two, three and touch the inside. One, two, three, inside. So, next kind of almost like lateral skip and touch the inside of that, that foot. Good. So a little bit of up and down. When we do bend over, I want you to try to keep that back nice and flat. Send those hips back. Try not to round the back. We want you to feel this your hamstrings and your glutes, not that low back. Good. So we're going to slow it down now with a little bit of uh, controlled, articulated uh, hip cars. Um, control articulated rotation. So we're going to do 30 seconds on either side. What I really want to look for is keeping that upper body kind of silent and quiet. And we want to really bring that Hip up, use the hip flexor, rotate it around and put it down. So we're disassociating our upper body from our lower body. Uh, left leg or your opposite leg, whichever one you haven't done yet. Again, these are controlled movements. You may hear a little popping. I hear a big crunch from my left hip. Um, doesn't hurt per se, it's just kind of loud and echoey, but. Um, if you don't feel any pain, it should be fine. There's a lot of ligaments and tendons in those hip joints, a lot of stuff going on. So probably just the joint rolling over a tendon. All right, so now we're gonna go. I call these sort of like standing mountain climbers with little rainbow arms, right? So we're going side to side with those arms. So I'm kind of making this big wavy rainbow and I'm driving my knees up. So it's a good thing we did those hip cars, because now we're really using those hip flexors. One minute, drive those knees, and if that's too much, again, nice and easy, slower pace, whatever you can do. So make it your own, but just move. Just keep moving. It's all good. And the more we, we're twisting, we're crunching our obliques, our muscles on the side of our body, Getting the arms up in the air it feels fantastic. Keep on going. We've got 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna go to skaters. Awesome. And let's switch skaters. So, sort of a reverse lunge with a toe tap. You can hop, and we can move the arms. So, if you want a little bit more of a hip move, higher impact, or if you just want something nice and easy. It's totally up to you. Many modifications for this one. Even just a full standing and kind of just stepping back. So you can go as big and as wide as you want or as just nice and easy, whatever works for you. Get those bodies moving, people. I'm working out, go away. You shut it, Dad picking up pizza. Yep. All right, we got 10 minutes. Ten this what we're showing. Are you done with your schoolwork? No. Okay. Let's make sure we're muting our screens, folks. All right, and last ones we're gonna do fast feet. Fast feet, fast feet. So, little tiny baby jog, right? But really fast. So, I'm just driving, and again, if this is too much instead of running, you can do a nice, easy march. But try to move as fast as you can. And if it's fast is too hard, go with your own pace. So I like to go forward. I like to go back. I go left. I go right. We're going to do some movements later where we do a little switch feet. So 
We're coming up on 20 seconds and then we're gonna get a minute rest. And then we're gonna go into our first circuit. We've got four circuits, I built in five just in case. Come on people, faster! Woo! You're doing great, this is awesome. Good job. Fun. Oh my goodness. And rest. Woo, 10 minute warm up. Take a break. We've got a minute, grab some water. Excellent job. Just a reminder, I'll probably say it every class. Drink your water. You have your corsicles, great, your reusable bottle. We always want to try and aim for five of our body weight in ounces of water a day. It's Looney Tunes. Not everybody can do it, but if you are, congrats. Awesome job. I'm so proud of you. And if you're trying, good for you too. I'm still proud of you. <laughs> Believe me, I. I'm trying. It's harder now that I'm at home because we have the water tank and the bridge. So, 10 seconds. We are going to start off with a hinge lunge, meaning forward and backward. Then we're going to do a little Cuban press, which is some arms, some body weight arms. You can use real light weights. And then we're going to go down to the ground for a little V sit toe tap. So, here we go with our forward and reverse lunge. So it's gonna look like we're gonna stay 30 seconds on either side, forward and reverse lunges. So when we do that lunge, we wanna make sure that the knees do not go in front of the toes. That standing leg, that leg that's doing all the work is planted nice and still, and we're driving through the heels of, of the front foot. So my front right foot is driving the heel, my front left foot is driving the heel. So I left from right, front left. Good, and let's switch legs. So now I'm going my left front, left rear. Again, we're going forward lunge and rear lunge. Move those arms. This is a tough one. Really taxes the quads and the, and the glutes. Do the best you can. And if this is too fast, then you take your time. You go slow, forward and backward. We're almost there, we've got three, two, one, we've got 15 seconds rest, and then we're going to the Cuban press. If you've got a two, three, four pound weight, grab it if you want. If not, totally okay. Here we go with the Cuban press. So we go into sort of like a lower goal post arms, up, and then we press overhead. Come down the same way. So we're going for, um, we're gonna go for 10 here. So that was two, three. Let's see, four. And you want to turn. You want to externally rotate and push. Internally rotate and lower. Maybe about seven. Somebody. I'm a terrible counter. So let's see. We got eight here. Yes, I'm. My arms are burning. Nine. Woo, fire it up, all right, and 10, good. Let's get a little 15 second rest there. We're gonna come on down to the floor. All right, so we're here in this V pose, and what we're gonna do is arms are gonna go up, and we're gonna touch. So we're going for 30 seconds, ready, hit it. Touch as much as you can. If you wanna do this, just hold a little bit close. If you wanna, we're, we're working the core. Right, so it's a core exercise. Try to reach. Try to get those legs straight if you can. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All about that core. It's all about driving the belly button to the spine. Three, two, and one. Woo. My quads are burning. We're going to get a 15 second rest and we're going around again. So we've got three rounds on each circuit, just like the last time. Oh. Awesome. And we've got three, two, one. Right leg, forward and rear hinge lunge. 30 seconds. Yeah. So again, knees are behind the toes. In each forward and reverse lunge. And if the hinge is too much, you can reset in the middle and step back. 
Doesn't have to be a real deep lunge at all. We got 10 seconds on this side, but I want you to really feel it. I want you to feel it in your glutes. You're doing the work, so why not make it pay off, right? And good, let's switch sides. All right, forward lunge, river lunge. 30 seconds. Awesome. But do whatever you can. But just keep those knees behind the toes. The body's nice and tall. We don't want to be rounded. We don't want to be bent over. We want to try to stay as tall as we possibly can. Wow. And you've got five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. 15 seconds and we go into our Cuban press. Nice, and we've got here about five seconds. Grab water if you want. You can always keep moving through our rests. And here we go. We're gonna rotate up and down. So raise, externally rotate, press. Internally rotate and down. We're going for 10. Get it fired up. Again, if you've got weights, go ahead and use them. Try to keep this movement nice and controlled. Try to keep your traps low, shoulders down so that those little shoulders aren't in your ears. I'm gonna get seven, eight. Again, on a terrible counter. I've got nine. Ooh, yeah. Last one coming up here for 10. Awesome. All right, 15 seconds, and then we're going down for our, our little V toe tap. So, Again, if this, the toe tap is too much, hold the boat pose. If you can't do that, that's okay. Then just sort of round a little bend knee pose. Here we go. So arms are up. And we're just trying to bring those knees as straight as we can, toes to touch the hands. And exhale. As you try to touch those toes, exhale. 30 seconds. Keep going. Awesome. My quads are burning, my hip flexors are really tacked. Suck your belly button in tighter, make it all about the belly button. Three, two, one, and rest for 15. Woo. We've got one more round and then we get a minute rest. So excited. <laughs> all right, here we go. Last one on our hinges. Right leg forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. 30 seconds on either leg. For me, sometimes the timing is a little bit easier than counting, just because I'm such a bad counter. A lot of my clients are like, wait, that was 10. I'm like, oh, that was eight. <laughs> so you gotta forgive me. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it and switch. Here we go. Knees are behind those toes. Push off with the heels, make them do the work. That heel glute connection. Many of you have heard me talk about that in the gym. This is a booty workout. Make your booty work, because if you don't squeeze it, nobody else will. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds and we're going in a Cuban press. Let's hit that one for 30. 30 seconds instead of 10 reps. Let's see how we do here. We got about five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds. And up and down. This is a burner. If you've got weights in your hands, holy moly, those shoulders are gonna start to really feel it. So um, I don't mind not having weights. I only have eight and tens. And for me, I think that would be too heavy. Um, but again, try to keep your scapula dropped back down so that the shoulders are low. So we're not shrugged up here. 30 seconds, here we go, where are we at? We got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, folks. All right, 15 seconds. We've got our last ab exercise on the floor here. Our little V-tax. Again, hold your boat pose if you can. If you can't, then just give me a little reach with those feet on the ground. Let's see, we've got five, four, three, 
two, one. 30 seconds, here we go. So you wanna tap those heels and bring them back up. So tap and hit those feet. Tap and feet, tap and feet. Exhale when you bring the feet up. Inhale, exhale. All about the core, bringing that belly button to the spine. Keep on going. We've got about seven seconds. And we've got four, three, two, and one. Ooh, one minute rest. Awesome job. That was a hell of a first circuit. Ooh, I hope you're feeling it. I am sweating. Mm -hmm. Awesome job. I'm just going to check in on everybody and see how y'all are doing. Oh, let's see. Give me a wave if you can. Jackie and Suzanne, hello. Great to see you all. Heidi, hi. Yay, Leslie, thank you for the claps. Oh, you guys are so great. This is so fun. All right, so we are gonna get going with extension rotation. So I really want you to pivot that foot. Again, if you have a weight, you can use that, a little goblet. Um, then we're going into figure four glute bridges. So like a single leg glute bridge on the floor, and then we're gonna do a side plank. So here we go. Three, two, one. So we're going 30 seconds either side. So we're squatting and we're standing. So it's a squat, a rotation, and a push, right? So I want you to take what's on the floor and push it to the ceiling. But I really want you to squeeze that glute. So see how I'm pivoting my body like a golf, a golf swing finish. So it's not about the low back. It's a squat and a stand. And we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Other side, here we go. This one's a little bit um, unnatural for me because I'm a righty. So one side may feel weirder or more weird than the other. That's okay. Ow. If this is too much for you, just slow it down. And you can just bend the knees and stand. So like you're picking something up off of the chair and putting it, oh. Good. Damn it. Let's rest there. Awesome. So we are going into a single leg glute bridge. We got Great. 30 seconds. If you're not muted, go ahead and mute us. So we've got figure four pose, right? Left ankles on my right knee. And what I'm going to do is drive that heel through the floor. So let's see. Here we go. Ready? And hit it. 30 seconds on either side. You just want to drive the heel. It's a little, it's a little hip thrust, right? So just a hip thrust, we wanna squeeze that right glute. Put your hand on your booty if you need to feel it engaged. But what's nice about this oh. is that I feel like that left hip is also getting a little bit of work too. That hip flexor that we just tacked so much, we're getting a little bit of work there. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. We'll switch sides, hit the other side, and here we go for 30, 30 seconds, drive that heel. I'm lifting my left toe off the floor, so I'm really trying to feel it in my glute. This is not a back move. If you feel it in the back, you're doing it wrong. Don't lift your hips that high. It's just a little bit of a hip thrust. And again, we're trying to feel a little bit of movement in that hip crease on the right-hand side. And we've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome. Rest for 15, and we're gonna go into a side plank. So, low plank, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, and elbow are both stacked. Got five seconds here. Here's your modification, right? Knee, and we're gonna reach. Here's, let's hit into our plank. Here we go. So, we're gonna reach with that hand, and we're just gonna hold. You wanna keep that core nice and tight. Again, shoulders over the elbow. We're halfway there, 30 seconds on either side. And if you want, you can reach with that arm a little bit, get a little bit more movement in that scapula. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Do the best you can. Push up into that really nice plank. Core is super tight. Oh yeah, here we go. That's it, guys. 
Great job. You want a little bit more now, if you really want to get super crazy, lift that leg and lower it. I'm going to leave my leg where it is. Got 10 seconds. And again, if you need a little bit more of a modification, you can just put that one knee down and reach with that arm. But core is nice and tight and rest. All right, so we've got 15 seconds. That is our circuit, our second circuit. And we're gonna hit that again. So extension rotation in five, four, three, Ooh. two, one. Here we go. Right to left. Woo! It's perfect. Who knew? Body weight exercises were such a killer. We're good. Awesome. Let's see. Halfway. Mm -hmm. We have 15 more seconds on this side, and then we'll switch. Again, just a reminder, if you haven't muted, please go ahead and do so. We hear a few folks out there in the world. All right, let's switch sides. Hopefully I'm not hurting anybody here today. If you feel any pain, please stop. Take a rest. Stretch it out. But again, this is a squat to a stand. Pivot that back foot and push. Use the glutes. Again, it's like a squat, so when you stand, you're squeezing the booty, right? And with those arms, it's awesome. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. 15 seconds, figure four, single leg bridge. Whew. Yeah. All right, so five seconds here. Get into your figure four pose. And let's reach it for 30. Heel is in the floor. Don't lift those hips too high. Don't want you to feel it in the back. Squeeze that right glute. Squeeze it so hard. Put your hand on it if you need to. We're halfway there to 30. You got this, folks. Kick ass job today. Seven seconds. Ooh, I'm feeling that in my left hip too. Four, three, two, one, switch sides. Here we go, right into it. Whew, yeah. How oh. about the booty? All right, squeeze that butt. Again, put your hand on your high knee if you need to. If it's just a little reminder, so I've got one hand on my hip bone on the right side and one hand on my high knee on the left side, and I just know what movement I'm doing, right? So my core is set, and I'm just driving my heel through the floor. Four, three, two, one. We got 15 seconds and we're gonna go into our side planks. So you know your modification is sort of a lower plank. And if this is too much for you, then just do your best. Do the best you can, even just a, a lean on the side. So here we go into our side plank, hold and draw that arm. You can stack the toes, you can put the feet in front of each other. I kind of like the stack. I'm on nice carpeting, so um, again, if you want to lift the leg, that's fine too. But keep that core super tight. We're already at 15 seconds. Ooh, we got one more round of this. Heck yeah! I am super sweaty. All right, here we go. And rest. Switch it to the other side. Go right into your plank and raise and lower that arm. So again, this is just another. Actually, you have a small hole. Like, 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 no, that fixed my back. What can't you do? My back it hurts. I can't move certain ways. <sighs> you want to do it? Oh, it hurts. Not I'm, really, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, I can't even do some of these things. It's the right side of my bone. It's like right here. Oh, I'm so sorry if you are hurting. Oh. Please rest. Oh. But if you wouldn't mind, please. So bad. Oh, I, can't, I can't even breathe. It hurts so bad. We're going to go into our external rotation. <laughs> go ahead and start for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to check on the computer. If you are hurting, please do rest. Get on your back and stretch. 
please feel free to shoot me a message and I will give you some personal stretches. I'm so sorry if you're hurting. We probably need to work on some of that form for you. So please, I apologize, but please go ahead and rest if you cannot move. Let's switch to the other side on your uh, that external rotation. So we're going other side here. Pivot the back foot. Maybe what you do is just rest for now. And then when we come into our cool down, you can work with us in the cool down because we have some low back exercises for that. And rest, we're going into our uh, flat back pigeon pose uh, glute bridges. 15 seconds. So we've got about seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drive that heel. Here we go for 30. So when your low back hurts, the best thing you can do is lay on your back, flat on your back, push your hips into the floor, keep your feet flat on the floor in your bridge pose and drop those knees side to side. So a little windshield wiper knees, give yourself a good hug. You want to relax the back. It's in spasm. So you want to just try and relax. Three, two, one here. Let's switch sides and drive. If you feel well enough, we have yoga tomorrow. That might be a nice option, but you've got to stretch. You've got to stretch your rear hip. You've got to stretch your front hip if that low back is hurting. Again, shoot me an email and we can talk about some stretches and work on a program for a little bit of a lower impact for you. We got five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to our side, 15 seconds, and we're going into our side, uh, side lunge. And we've got five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Up into our side plank, and we're gonna reach. So hold that core in nice and tight. That shoulder should be stacked right over the elbow, elbows and, and shoulders stacked. And again, drop that knee if you need to. If it's just too much for you, we've got 10 seconds right here. Core is tight, squeeze the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's hit the other side. Here we go. And reach, reach, good. Again, shoulders stacked. My knees are kind of, I'm squeezing them together, like I've got a ball between my legs. Everything is totally tight. My back is flat, I am a straight board. And this is a hard one. So again, if you need that, um, just a little bit of a side rest, three, two, one, and good. We get a minute here, folks. So take your minute, take a rest, grab some water. Here's my, Here's my back exercise, right? So you're on your back, drop those knees so feet can be wide. Let's drop them side to side. This is one of my best and most favorite exercises for low back pain. Give yourself a little hug and then rotate back and forth too. Um, this is also good. Um, take your knee and do the twist. So whatever you can kind of tolerate is always good. Go to both sides. And then I mentioned the front hip. So come up if you can. Try to stay in neutral spine and just stretch this front quad. So we've got about 15 seconds here for our next circuit. This is gonna be an agility circuit. So we're gonna go three agility exercises, so kind of more fast paced, but you can also modify. So we're gonna do icky shuffle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move those hands, icky shuffle. Uh, then we're gonna do traveling switch. So you're gonna go traveling up and traveling back. And then we're gonna do a big hop forward and we're gonna run back. So here we go with our icky, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna go 45 seconds for this agility circuit. Three, one, two, three. Two, three. 
one, two, three. So there was apparently a football player named Icky something, and he did this end zone dance, and they called it the Icky Shuffle. So in the spirit of no NFL right now, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little agility exercise in tribute of the NFL and Nikki. Good, last three seconds and let's rest. So we've got 15 rest and then we're gonna go traveling switch feet. So pretend you've got a ladder on your floor and you're gonna go switching through each box. And I know I've done this with some of my clients in the gym. So ready, here we go, switch feet. So I want you to travel up and then we're gonna travel back. So again, you're on the balls of your feet, core is tight, move those arms. So I'm coming close to you and away from you, and we're going uh, 45 seconds here. Woo. <laughs> My shirt is traveling up. Good, we got 15 seconds. Woo, yeah. Awesome, keep going with your travel. 10, <clears throat> and we've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 15, and then we've got our hop and our little run back. So we're gonna hop forward and run back. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. So again, if you can't hop forward, just do your best, right? So a big hop with a run back. Maybe take a wide step and then kind of like a nice little run back. So whatever you can do, but we are hopping and then running back. So a big hop forward, run back. Just keep you moving. So whatever you can do. If all you wanna do is run forward and backward, that's okay too. No problem. And we've got about 10 seconds. Woo! Travel, travel, travel. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 15. And we've got another, another two rounds of that. So hopefully this cardio is okay. Again, if anybody is hurting, please rest. Lay on the floor. We'll be going into our cool down here after this circuit. Here we go. We've got... Icky shuffle, so uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, I'm one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's kind of like a cha-cha to the side. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. So probably no one has hated the icky shuffle as much as you may right now, but it's kind of one of my favorites. If you want to do it laterally, that's okay too. And usually I have my clients do it forward. You can do it backwards. But pretend you have a ladder. This might be another good one for your kids. Cha, cha, cha. And let's rest there. Awesome. We're going to go in 15 seconds. We've got switch feet. Traveling switch feet. That's five. We've got another eight seconds. Grab a sip of water, take a breath, five, four, three, two, one, and switch feet for 45. All the way up and all the way back. Woo-hoo! Oh yeah, this is a big cardio workout today. Let me tell you, after Tuesday, my abs hurt. Woo, it was awesome. I hope yours felt as good. So my booty hurt a little bit, but mostly my abs. So I've really been doing a lot more ab work, which is awesome. And um, I think they're definitely feeling it. So hopefully you enjoyed that too. All right, here we go. 15 second rest. And then we've got our hops. We'll do one more round and then we will stretch. Woo. Nice, folks. Hope you're all doing well. I'll check in on you at the end of this circuit. Here we go, ready? Big hop and run back. Big hop and run back. Hop and run back. 
If you really want to mix it up, so you're here, let's say hop back and then run forward. That might be too much. We'll just say hop forward and run back. And hop forward and run back. We got about 10 seconds here. Actually, you have 10 seconds now. And hop forward. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and rest for 15. Whew. We got one more set there, and then we're going to go into our stretches. Mm. Got about 39 minutes or so, so we'll finish this one up quick. All right, here we go. Hickey shuffle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go, yep. Move those arms. So it's a nice lateral move, but like I said, you can do it forward. You can do it back. All it is is just a cha-cha. And we just want you on the balls of your feet, but a light movement. If it's too much, just walk the cha-cha. I don't care, but get that leg up. I want you to feel it like icky. Woo, good end zone dance, folks. All right, 15 seconds. And we are going to hit our switch feet, our traveling switch feet. Got about another seven seconds here. Woo, Friday. Hopefully y'all have earned some good stuff for this weekend. Here we go, traveling switch feet. Move those arms. Yeah, again, more great stuff you can do with your kids at home. Somebody said they called these like Charlie Chaplin, but I don't know. I don't know if I call them that, but switch feet. So hopefully, uh, I'm squeezing my butt here. My core is tight. I'm feeling it in my shins a little bit, but um, you know, pretty much, I think it's just uh, a good cardio move. Got another, about another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. 15 seconds, and then we have our hop, and then we're gonna rest. Yeah. You guys are doing a great job today. I always try to say thank you to all of our members who are here joining me, all of our employees. Great job to get out here today. All right, last one, big hop. Hop forward, and let's run back. And we're gonna hop forward and run back. Again, nice and light on your toes. If this is too much, just maybe run forwards nice and easy and run backwards. You don't have to put the hop in the house a little bit, like a plyo, an explosive movement. If you're, if you're at that level and you can hop, great. If you can't, that's okay too. But just keep moving, like I said. Try to swing those arms. And again, if you are hurting or you are in pain, lay on the floor, on your back, hug those knees. Give me another five seconds here. And we're gonna go into our resting circuit. Woo! Awesome, grab some water. We'll probably just go 30 and go right into our stretches. Let's see, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all still there with me. Karen, Suzanne, Brenda, you're there. Jackie, awesome ladies. 23 people, I'm so grateful. Thank you all for being here again today. Awesome, all right. So, let's see, I've got my cheat sheet up here on my post. And we're gonna do, actually, so, for those folks that may be in a little bit of pain, here we go. On your back, I'm gonna tip my pelvis back, right? So my belt buckle and my belly button's going to the floor. That, I want you to crunch your hands down, right? Wide feet, keep your low back as flat as you can, and just stretch. It doesn't have to be fast. It can be nice and easy. Oh, yep, so just get some a nice stretch. Really just kind of want to bring the heart rate down. We did a lot of cardio today. Awesome. So back and forth. So I want you to bring those feet together like a butterfly. And Megan does this in yoga sometimes. So this is called a, a, like a lying butterfly. I want you to push away on your thighs. So push that low back into the floor, flatten the curve, haha, <laughs> flatten the curve in your low back, and then just push on your thighs. Try to push your thighs out and down. 
So out and down, and that kind of just does a nice little sort of like separation. You can kind of rock a little bit. Maybe you'll get a little separation in some of those fist sets in the low back. Um, let's do that line twist. So I'm gonna grab with my left hand, my right knee, I'm gonna pull it across my body, and my head is going towards my right hand. So your, your cervical, your neck, is going in a different direction than your thoracic and your lumbar. So we're really twisting that body. Give me a big exhale. Awesome, bring it back to neutral. Let's switch legs. So right hand, left knee, pulling to the right. My head is facing you guys to the left. Big deep breaths, the biggest breaths you've taken all day long. All the way in and all the way out. Awesome. All right, let's do a little pigeon. So we're gonna come into our all fours. Let's kind of bring that, um, you can even go into like a down dog if you wanna bring that knee in. I just want you in that sort of pigeon pose, right? And let's try to just lean forward as much as you can. If this hurts you, stay on your back and just hug your knees. Um, if this isn't something that you can do right now, that's okay. Maybe do the figure four pose. So your left hip, I'm on my left leg, should not be on the ground. So see how I'm really rolling that hip out? You want to keep those hips flat and square to the ground. Because eventually, yes, you want to try to get your butt to the ground. But if it's not touching, you don't want to roll out. Let's switch legs. And get another pigeon on this side. If you want a little bit more of a twist. You can take, is it this way, I think, or is it this way? Yep, it would be your left hand. If you're on your right leg, it would be your left hand up in the air for a nice little twist. That's also something extra that I learned this morning in my mobility class. Awesome, so we're here. For those of you on your back, let's get some cat-cow. You've got to open that low back. It will feel good in sort of a hurting kind of way, but do a little bit of a cat-cow. It's all about the pelvis. I am not moving my upper body. I'm just moving my pelvis. So I'm just tipping back and forth. Back and forth. And then you can get in that head movement if you want. Awesome. Let's drop it down low into a nice wide knee child pose. And just stretch it right there. Come up sort of in a frog pose and then come back to child. Do that three times. So frog pose, shoulders up by your hands. Draw it back, last one, and push it back. Great job today. That was kind of crazy. Again, if you are hurting, please send me an email, shunt at fiddlerselbowcc.com. Um, we hope that everybody's feeling well. I um, hope you had a great class and we